What is LinkedIn and how does it work? I, my name is Louise Brogan and I teach people how to use LinkedIn to win business, raise their profiles, get visibility and get noticed online. So what is LinkedIn and how does it work? I was literally asked this question this morning and I thought while I'm making lots of mini tutorials on how to use LinkedIn on this channel, let's start at the start. What is LinkedIn? Who is it for? How does it work? Let's get stuck in. So LinkedIn is a business social media networking website. That is how I would describe it to um, customers and clients that I work with. It is social media like Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, but it is specifically for people who want to connect with others in their business life. So other professionals, other people working in their industry and um, people that they may sell to customers and clients, but also people that you want to connect with um, as part of your career progression. Um, so it's for business owners, B2B salespeople, marketing people, uh, professionals, all walks of life. And I, I find it actually genuinely really enjoyable um, as a platform. So if you have never been to LinkedIn before, this is what a LinkedIn home feed looks like. Um, so over on the left hand side, we've got um, really information all about you, the user. So it's your your head, your photograph, your your name, your headline, who's viewed your profile, who's been looking at your content. Scrolling down, if you have a company page that you're attached to. So with LinkedIn, you've got personal profiles and company pages, and those are two separate things. I'll show you those in a second. Um, down here, you've got your recent uh, places that you have been on LinkedIn, any groups that you may be in, events you may have attended, and hashtags that you may be following. The middle column is the news feed. So this will be content from people. Down the central piece, you will see content from people that you follow, topics that you have expressed interest in, people that your network follows as well and pages that you follow. So for an example, Karen Campbell is somebody who I am connected to on LinkedIn. So she is in my network. I am seeing her post here because we are connected to each other. But also, I'm seeing it because one of my other connections has liked this post that Karen has shared. So that's two things that make LinkedIn want to show it to me. Somebody in my network posted it and somebody else in my network has liked it. So LinkedIn, like all the other social media platforms, will show you content based on your activity on the platform. So this is the news feed, as I say, and you'll have promoted posts as, as an advertisement. Um, and you'll see posts that people upload. So as we scroll down, you can see conversations that people are having, um, topics that they want to discuss, articles that they're sharing, and that will help you with your LinkedIn. And the third section on your um, homepage is the section over here. And at the top, you'll see LinkedIn news. So this is things that are trending on LinkedIn at the minute, and um, topics that you can then take and share if you want to talk about them. So for example, if you wanted to talk about um, why Zoom is sapping our energy, or just to read some information or articles, you could go and you could read um, the articles that people are talking about in here and you might want to comment on them or you might want to share it to your own network as well. And it's back to the home feed, which is remember are all about us, the news feed here and the third column, LinkedIn news, courses that people are doing on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn has a learning academy. It used to be lynda.com. That's LinkedIn learning. It's for people with a paid account. So most people have a free LinkedIn account. Um, and with the free link and account, you can do all the things I'm showing you at the minute. Um, but the paid account will upgrade you and you will have access to LinkedIn learning amongst other things. And that's really what your home screen looks like. Then you've got um, your network, which are the people you are connected to. Then people you follow, groups that you might be in and you can apply to join a group. Um, events that you attend. So LinkedIn has lots of brilliant events. You can see those here. Um, so you've got events coming up, events that you've attended, um, you might want to look for events that might be of interest to you. How do you get back to my network? 
um, and it says under here, it's literally saying online events for you. Would you be interested in these events? And these are based on my activity on LinkedIn. So yours will look differently. Um, pages that you follow. So we're looking at the personal profile at the minute and I'll show you company pages in a moment. Um, newsletters, people can create newsletters on LinkedIn. This is not a feature that's available for everybody. Um, so if we click on newsletters, you will see um, certain people have access to lots of LinkedIn um, staff have <laughs> newsletters and you can subscribe to follow those newsletters if you want. Um, and then hashtags, people use hashtags on LinkedIn and how hashtags work is that you can follow a hashtag and when you follow that hashtag, so for example, if I follow, um, let's see, the hashtag small business and we click on that, I will see posts from people who are posting around small businesses. So you can really build what you want to see on LinkedIn. You can build a network that you want to see on your LinkedIn platform. You can also post or apply for jobs on here search for your next job and a lot of people who are using LinkedIn for uh, recruitment and jobs as well of course um, uh, messaging private messaging with your network and um, notifications will tell you um, what's happening in your network so if we scroll down here you see people reacted to your post somebody loved your comment and um, here's the daily rundown uh, it's really notifying you of people reacting to what you've been sharing on LinkedIn or if you've commented on somebody else's post, it's the follow-up comments to your post as well. Um, so when you want to use LinkedIn, you want to make sure that you have a good LinkedIn profile. And that involves having um, a cover image like this at the back, a headshot image, your name, your headline, which is this bit here. My LinkedIn profile is in creator mode, which is why I have this bit that says talks about down here. There's a video I have for that and um, just check it out up here. And um, over here, it's got my company page and where I went to university. And then LinkedIn really helps you to understand what's going on on your profile. So you can see how many people have viewed your profile, how many people looked at your last piece of content you shared. So video views or post views the number of times you have appeared in LinkedIn search for whatever it is that you do, um, salary insights, looking at your network again, um, my items, so you can save posts and they will be showing up in here. As we scroll down, you've got your featured section on your profile where you get to highlight things you want to be known for. So for me, I've got my YouTube channel and then my free download um, to help people who want to use LinkedIn for business. Um, I'll put a link to that down below in the, in the um, description. Then you have your activity on LinkedIn. So for someone with creator mode, this shows people um, my, this shows people what I have been creating. If you turn creator mode off, it shows all your activity on LinkedIn, which is different. And um, then you have your about section. This is where you want to write about um, how you help people, what it is you want to be known for, if you are looking for work or a job, you're going to write about your really your key skills, your experience in here. And um, if you are in business and you're building your business network with clients, customers, potential collaborators, then this is really more about how you can help people. And um, so people will resonate with it. So it's very different if you're a job seeker as it is from being a business owner or an entrepreneur. Then we scroll down, you've got your experience section, which is um, all your relevant um, job experience and history. And as we scroll down further, you have your education section, you have licenses and certifications. If you have got any of those, you, not everybody will have all of these sections filled out. So don't worry if you haven't been to university or you haven't got any certifications. Those will not show up on your profile um, unless you add them as a section. Uh, same with volunteer experience. Then you've got your skills and endorsements and you want to add skills in here that you want to be endorsed for so that people know what your actual skills are. And then you've got a recommendation section where you can ask somebody for a recommendation uh, that you may have worked with them and um, they may have been in the same team as you um, and you can ask recommendations in here. Then your accomplishments, so any honours or awards, courses that you may have done, 
publications, languages and organisations and then down at the bottom you've got the interests um, section which shows people um, the influencers you follow, the companies that you follow and the groups that you are in. So uh, LinkedIn groups are um, a great way of meeting other people who are interested in the same kind of thing as you. They are slightly more challenging um, for people to run because not everyone gets notified when there's new posts in the groups. So the key things are optimizing your profile, getting a news feed that you're actually interested in. So connecting with people that you want to connect with, seeing content from those people and those companies, um, checking in with the news wherever you live, and then um, company pages, if you have a company page, and I have a video on how to create your company page, which will be shown up here. Um, this is my company page. Uh, you can see how many people are following it, and I will share content on here um, that people engage with and react with in here. So there's lots and lots um, to learn about how to use LinkedIn, but hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea about it. Um, it's You use it to connect with people in your professional network, which means that the content that people share on here is going to be more about what they're doing in their business. So Pascal is a podcaster and he's talking about his podcast. Um, Small Business Britain, this is a company page. They are talking about small businesses in the UK and net zero. Um, and you just see different things that people talk about around their professional world. So Legal Women UK is celebrating the first Lady Chief Justice of Northern Ireland. So it's very different to the content that you will see on Facebook and Instagram. It is much more about business and um, business networks, sharing content that helps your business network. Um, and I would be delighted if you wanted to come over and connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, how you do that is you go and you go to LinkedIn, you type up here and you type in the person's name you want to connect with and hit search and you will see me there and then you send me a connection request and we can connect. So another tip is make sure that your um, photograph is actually a picture of your face so people will recognize you so that you can see this is me based on my YouTube videos and the video of me talking to you right now um, and you can see that those are not me. So you're also um, checking the headline LinkedIn consultant and um, LinkedIn with Louise podcast whereas this person is the senior director global regular regulatory clinical services at PRA health sciences which is obviously not me so um, find people and pages to connect with and follow and uh, yeah come connect with me and if you have any questions at all about using LinkedIn and I'm sure you have plenty please put them in the comments below but how LinkedIn works is you connect with people that you want to build relationships with. Um, you look at the news feed, somebody who you're interested in, when they post something that you're interested in commenting on, you leave a comment and connect with people if you think it's relevant um, to you and you build a network of people that you want to hear from and connect with. And when you do that, LinkedIn becomes a very enjoyable social media networking site. So do pop your questions down below because I love to create videos that answer your questions and um, whether you're, it's about building your business online or about LinkedIn specifically, let me know and hit subscribe so you don't miss any um, more of the videos that I will be sharing here on YouTube. Thanks so much guys.